Um, so my opponent said that um, that the death penalty actually keeps uh, it traumatizes families, and I'm here to say that it keeps victims' families at peace because um, life because if a person kills and they um, are sent to life without parole, life in prison prison just means the criminal is still around to haunt the victim or and or the victim's families. A death sentence brings finality um, to a horrible chapter in the lives of these family members. Um, and also I wanted to support it, but um, support that claim by also saying that um, it stops criminals permanently and keeps our citizens safe from, from them. Um, the death penalty, um, according, to Kent, uh, according to Kent, I think it is last name, because um, you can find it, the, uh, but he's the legal director of the Criminal Justice Legal Foundation. He states in two, August 2008 that the death penalty serves as three functions. First, for some crimes, any lesser punishment is inadequate as a matter of basic justice. Second, an executed death sentence absolutely guarantees the killer will never, will never kill again. A life sentence does not. There are many cases where, of people killed by murderers who have paroled, escaped, killed within prison, or who arranged murders from within the prison. Third, I believe that an effective enforced death penalty deters some murders. Um, also, Atul Gwande, an associate professor of surgery at Har Harvard Medical School, he states in March 2006 that, um, that even though that the death penalty um, doesn't only um, well only deter deters some from murder, and our justice system our justice system may um, put somebody to death, I mean, put somebody innocent to death. Um, I believe that there are still some human beings who do such evil as um, as to deserve to die. I'm not troubled by the fact that Timothy McVeigh, who was, um, who, uh, um, basically he, um, he um, put a bomb in a bus that, um, in front, that was in front of Oklahoma City, and it um, killed over 100 people. Um, but the person continues on saying um, that he was executed for um, for the people that he killed for the Oklahoma City bombing, or that John Wayne Gacy was com um, was sent to death for committing 33 murders. Um. um also, uh, um, Stephen D. Stewart, who's Clark County prosecuting attorney. Um, he said in 2008 that it cheapens the life of an, of an innocent murder victim to say that society has no right to keep the murder from ever killing again, using the death penalty. In my view, society has not only the right, but the duty to act in self-defense to protect the innocent. Um, and then also uh, my opponent says that um, it still costs more for um, the death penalty than it does with life without parole. But technically, executions don't have to cost that much. Um, according to Chris Helm, who's an attorney of sam at Samples, um, um, uh, attorney at Samples Jennings, Bray and Clem, the Tennessee Coalition of, to Abolish State Killing, he says that um, executions do not have to cost that much. We could hang them and reuse the rope with no cost, or we could use firing squads, which is still legal, um, and ask for volunteer firing squad members who would provide their own guns and ammunition. Again, no cost.